Thursday afternoon, everybody. January the 17th. Middle Tennessee saw a little bit of snow, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, check out all the tracks around here, too. Oh, yeah. Hope everybody out there is staying warm. I had to get out today and come down and look around. I'm not going to wander around too much right down here but the simple fact you guys remember that big sheet of ice well most of it is still out there you can kind of hear it crunching under my feet what i thought was pretty cool was the way the ice and water went down and left the little knots around the trees pretty cool huh yeah i'm just over to walk around no particular purpose no particular destination. Just see what happens here in the next hour or two. And I got to get back to the house. We're looking at single digits again tonight. It's about 32 right now. All right, let me wander through the woods here and just enjoy the white beauty right now. sure just yet looks like we got a little work to do to lean to I lost the front pole TP seems to be still TP and <laughs> got a few critter tracks here in the camp uh, nothing fresh from today a little bit of wind blown track I think a total right around here, we got three inches or so off of the first go around and a little bit of ice underneath that. And the second go around, we got another almost four inches here, just a little bit north of us, we got six inches. Burr, it just looks cold, don't it? <laughs> I come over to see what was up. Glad I did. I have to see what happened here. Let's see what I got to do to fix it. What you guys are seeing for the first time, I'm seeing for the first time. I've been over here once before when the uh, ooh, snow, I think, was about three or four days old. We only got a couple of inches to start with. Probably hear a chainsaw going in the background over there. And you may have heard a helicopter when I first uh, first came in the woods down there. Uh, I told you guys before, I'm just kind of a hop, skip, and jump from Fort Campbell over here. And they're kind of doing maneuvers today, I think. A lot of helicopters in the air, so you may hear that on and off. And if you hear something that sounds like a machine gun, it's probably a machine gun. Luckily, they know better than they aim this way. <laughs> I'm just going to hang around here for a couple minutes, give me a drink of water. The uh, issue with the lean-to over there, my main support gave away. This was kind of a icy affair. Then three inches of snow, give or take, and then uh, a little break where it iced over again. And then we got like four more inches, I think, here. I'll show you in a minute on this stump. He just couldn't stand the weight. That's all right. It's plenty fixable. Plenty fixable. If you guys stick around, I'm going to take a walk here in a few minutes. There's a little bit of a breeze. You can kind of see there a little cap on top. Most of the last fall is uh, just about melted off. The last time I was over here, I lost a bunch of footage, which we all do from time to time. And in that, I kind of explained why well, I didn't have any uh, big bunch of wood here. 
had a couple of young men coming over that was going to help me disassemble the one laying there and get it stacked in there but this happened so we didn't get over here to do that matter of fact nobody's even been to work I know living up north this wouldn't be too bad Around here, it, it can be a mess, and this one has turned out to be a little bit of a mess. Okay, I'm going to walk over here off to the west just a little bit. Kind of just roam around like I aim to do. Haven't seen any critters yet. The roads are not so bad, I couldn't have gotten over here this morning. But I kind of wanted to make an afternoon affair out of this, you know. Seven degrees under my front porch this morning. Mm -hmm. Let me turn this around and let you guys see where I'm walking. the uh, white balance is working on this didn't know exactly how to set it so I just autoed it and a few critters through here huh somebody's been going in and out huh <laughs> Looks like this guy's having a little trouble with the mud. That's what you get for building on a hillside. Sometime back you guys may remember me showing this old crooked tree. It's not doing too bad with the snow on it. Well, however, this one finally gave it up. Pretty sure I have a picture of this in one of my videos. We're going to continue on toward the west there a little bit. See if I can't find this one little spot I thought would make a really good campsite. Looks like the squirrels dug into the food bank a little bit too, didn't they? <laughs> hey, we all get hungry when it gets cold outside. I turned just a little bit south of my original destination. It's really strange how things look so much different out here. Change the color a little bit. There's tracks all over these little, well, they were trails, <laughs> not that long ago. I've seen dog, coyote, a lot of small varmints. These tracks here look like they were today, maybe, I'm not sure. like today. And some little critter got brave enough to walk out on the water. <laughs> Looks like that might have been a raccoon. I'll put the uh, trail camera back over here before long. I just haven't been able to bring it out here with it being so cold and have the uh, batteries not last very long. a little sheet of ice under me right now. I haven't got to the spot where I thought would be a good camp yet. It's kind of nice out here wandering around. I think I'm going to save the little trip to the uh, 
different campsite for another day. Just kind of wandering around. I stood still there for a few minutes hoping those deer would get to where I could get a shot of them. But one of them saw me, and that's all it takes usually, huh? <laughs> it's a whole lot easier to navigate through here right now without all the briars and everything up. Nice walk. I'm just going to kind of follow down through here where the little critters have been going. I haven't seen uh, evidence of anything else much. There's a few deer tracks here. They're not very big. This is Alpha Camp in the snow. Now, I couldn't make a round without stopping by here. Ever since this red oak went down, I can't help but think about coming over here and doing some kind of camp. Most of the rest of the trees right here are pretty healthy. That one's got a dead side coming off of it. This is where we lost the two uh, hackberries down the hill also. Somehow or other, I'd uh, like to get up here and do a camp where I don't have to build an extremely elaborate shelter of some kind. It just kind of looks inviting to me. Maybe even up there in the top somewhere. Let's see if I can't pull that one off at some point in time. Coming across right back there. Yeah, now I know why the deer tracks are up here. Water got pretty deep. Hey, you can see the sun over my shoulder there. I'm walking a trail where it. Uh, Two trails came together. Looks like it was a meeting point right back here at this old fallen tree behind me. The edge of the water was only down there about 10 feet. Some places it looks a half inch thick or so. Pretty decent. For around here anyway, huh? Not ice skatable by any means. 